Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jake Jabberelli of Jabberelli.com. Just a bunch of referral links. Well, um, I promised an update on this uh, BOINC boink thing, and I'm going to go through it today. Hopefully just covering the necessary parts of it. Again, here I am in OpenSDF. If you've seen my channel, you've probably seen this before, but if you don't know what this is, it's a way to see multiple mobile devices simultaneously. I have uh, one of them up right here, and I'm running the Boink client, and in particular for the uh, Moo wrapper. It's a really funny name, but I just wanted to go through this for with you guys so you could get an idea of what I'm doing and how you can do it for yourself. So uh, you want to go to Android, uh, and I'll have it in my my uh, in the link below as well as in my website download boink pretty easy to do it's a tiny little file then you want to go into the add project section and grab the moo exclamation point it's not gonna be here now since I already have it on but any one of these other ones you can grab depending upon the phone you may not get uh, all this list it may be a smaller list uh, the more powerful the phone the more likely you get everything the less powerful the phone the less likely you get to get everything um, and some of these projects aren't active right now, so you could download them and you'll never get any work. But anyways, you go and pick on that, you put the check mark on, and you continue, and then you either create an account or log into a previous account. All they need is an email address, your name, it could be anything, and a password. No, not even a confirmation of the password, just stick in a password, make sure you remember it though. Um, and of course, if you're going to do multiple projects, just use the same password. It's not that important. Who else is going to do work for you, right? It's like putting out your um, your crypto address and people going, oh, you put out your address. Yeah, I mean, you can use that address and send me money if you like. <laughs> so uh, if you want to log into my account and send me more credits, it's fine by me. Uh, anyways, some notifications. There's a notifications for what's going on here. I've got a lot of devices running on the Move Wrapper right now, so they're letting me know things that are going on. Um, <clears throat> this is the project I'm working on. And this is the current function as it's worked. These were the ones that I believe, oh, this is just, these ones just downloaded, so they haven't been worked on yet. But it's, if you run a, uh, the similar project using cryptocurrency, you've probably seen something like this before. It's not, it's, this is a graphical interface for it. It's probably not that different. Um, it's still a network, you know, broken them up of the network to do multiple um, activities just like coin mining is so this is just the reward of this although you can work for grid coin most of these projects don't pay in grid coin so until they figure out some way of doing that you're probably not going to get paid real money you just get paid in uh, clout for having done something for the world like well, just as a note here uh, one of the projects you can work on is Rosetta at home and this is helping solve disease issues so if you want to work for the current disease problem that's going on right now and you want to get in on that, Rosette is one of those things to do. Uh, okay, so what I really wanted to show here was what I've been doing. So, got my account here. This is the stuff I'm working on. This is just one of the devices. And I've only been doing this for a couple of days, but that's how many total credits I've done so far. I've got about uh, 27 devices so far total on my account. And I've come out with 5,600 credits so far. Now, somebody had tried to equate this to grid coin. I don't think you get a one-to-one -one total credit, you know, for every grid coin. It, it doesn't work that way. Um, thus far, no, like I said, no one's really been able to directly equate it. I guess you could, but I haven't figured out how to make that happen. Some of these projects do have rewards. So if you do help out, you can be paid. It won't be very much money. You might get a buck, but it's doing this is just kind of a way to give back. So, you know, you can see I'm doing average. The top performers, the guys that are, let's see if I can find it here. Um, yeah, top participants. This guy's doing, eight, you know, seven and a half million on average. <laughs> and he's got 4.1 billion credits since he started. That could be 20 years worth of work. You know, he's probably been working on SETI uh, ever since it started. Most of these projects only been the last 10 years, and some of them only last five years. 
So a lot of people have been doing a lot of stuff. This guy is by far the most of anyone out there. I don't know if anyone else has done this much um, work for, for these projects. So I'm nowhere, nowhere near that here at my measly 5,000 or 5,600 uh, credits. Uh, these guys have been going on forever. Anywho, um, I wanted to show you what this was. I got, um, you can go check out Berkeley Open Infrastructure Network Computing for Network Computing. So BOINC, that's a little acronym. Yeah, this is Wikipedia. Uh, here's the website, boink.berkeley.edu. Um, there's places to sign up here. You can, of course, run this on Android. Uh, you can't run it on iOS <clears throat> for some reason. Uh, there's a weird integration issue with with each application if you wanted to work that way the way the Apple runs their apps You have to have the whole project integrated with the app every single time you make a change So it's just not gonna work on iOS. So I'm sorry for anybody who has Apple phones and wants to do this can't sorry it doesn't work right now <coughs> Pardon me um, And then uh, I just wanted to show you I've actually been to this this building here in Mountain View It's a SETI Institute I know one of the guys who helped start SETI back, way back. Um, uh, it's a physicist fellow that I know. His name is Lawrence Doyle. I just I just know the guy. I'm not trying to say he's so wonderful. I just happened to know him. Uh, I didn't know when I met him ages ago that he actually worked at the SETI Institute. So it's just a coincidence. Um, but uh, it's just a neat place to go. I, it's not a whole lot to see. I did have a tour, but what's really neat to see is their satellites they have on Stanford campus. So, um, anyways, you can run this this thing as many devices as you want. There's no limit. Like Honey Gain, you can only have six devices per account. Nope, definitely no limit like that. Here, you can literally have as many as you want. Um, but the rewards are a little bit different. Like I said, it's more of a prestige thing than it is a monetary thing. There may be a monetary thing with through Gridcoin, GRC, if you want to check that out on, on a altcoins or on uh, uh, coinmarketcap.com you can you can probably see grid coin i think it's worth like a third of a cent in us dollars right now so it's it's not worth a whole lot but like i said these this isn't really connected the credits that i'm getting here in my account aren't connected to grid coin and at this moment i don't know how they would be there's been talk of it for years and no one seems to have done it so this is really just a prestige thing if you're interested in putting your phones to work for something else that's probably gonna help the world, this is a good example of that. So I'm gonna be posting this video to my site, to, um, to my blog, and uh, I hope you guys check this out. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like what I'm doing, give me a sub. If you love it, give me a like. Uh, actually, I think it's the other way around, but you know what I mean. Thanks for watching my video, and I will be making more about this uh, as it continues. You can see my progress, and come check it out. So, see you on the flip side.